Welcome back to one of the last episodes of Jack and Daxter. Finally making it to the spider caves and... Eh, well if you saw the last part, it's not much of an improvement. It's actually even worse. Um, as it turns out... Yeah, a statement about how Naughty Dog can make a... Challenging set of final levels. Yeah, it, it uh... It shines through in this part. Um, shining has a... How to do with this in a certain start section of this, and oh boy, um, where do we begin in this level? Um, one thing I don't like about platformers is at times they'll throw you into a level where it's just purely no clear direction of where to start. I mean, it's all right, but given this freedom that it, I guess at times it's that double-edged sword of freedom isn't always good in a game it's like if you put freedom like this where it's you're you can you know you can roam anywhere you want and you can start anywhere you want in a big environment well it's, it starts to you know the idea of where do I go next starts to become less apparent and well uh, this level is just an example of that like how I'm going through this path apparently backwards and it doesn't even look th like that because it's a path that lets you get up there easily so yeah it doesn't help that I'm not going into first person shooting these things out though they're supposed to destroy all of them to get power cell and they also give you precursor orbs um, I didn't exactly follow through with uh, Daxter and will yell at you about that, which I cut out because of time constraint, but uh, will yell at you if you're not going to for first person, because um, your aim kind of sucks if you don't. Oof. Big level. Big level. Oh, and obviously the correct situation, or correct thing in that situation to do is to die, of course, and find other things on a, a different path and just can start another path that's always fun getting lost it's great dark cave why not full of spiders yeah got that this uh these spider enemies kind of remind me of the ones in a hero's tale again drawing contrast to that and i think just Hero's Tale and Twin S Crash Twin Sandy in general just, uh, yeah, it's drawing a lot of uh, things from this game. But of course, it's a good game to draw from, but uh, at least this game has a, I, you know, Naughty Dog can say they did it first, and it's only natural that Crash would kind of copy, but Copying entire, almost entire level concepts in Spyro doesn't make as much sense, but then again, Spyro is uh, the type of game they were trying to go after with this one, with the free roaming feel, just uh, with an open world 3D type of environment. And uh, that is the precursor statue or robot that uh, these these enemies are trying to dig up. Uh, I think. From what I, I think this is the one that's in the final battle, but what doesn't make sense is they give you an option of going back if you don't have everything. So having this still trapped in rock when you've already fought this thing makes little sense, unless there are multiple ones, which I think there are. Um, I think there is one Jack 2. So, yeah. This, uh... It's a little bit confusing. And I think there's also one in Jack 3, if I'm not mistaken. So, this thing, these things uh, return a lot. I don't know why they built so many. I mean, you build one incredibly unnecessary robot, you should just stay, stick with one. I mean, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> so, we're supposed to jump down there. And, uh not fall to our death but instead we are supposed to use that blue eco and jump back up and well jump up and it'll take you to a higher level that's for of course more paths because this level is 
totally not out of paths or anything. There's only like an entire other section I could be doing right now, which is far worse. Um, but this has more platforming elements, like a ton of platforming elements that you really have to have your skills set to actually uh, do it quickly. Um, however, I have my editing skills um, for that uh, to aid me there, so you don't have to watch every single time I die, just a few. I was going to commit suicide there, but some invisible barrier stopped me from doing it. I'm like, okay, I'll take the, I'll take the, uh, I'll take another look up here. I don't think there was anything we missed, but I wanted to double check. And I don't think there was anything. Oh, yeah, there was that, of course. And I'm forgetting what I just watched a while ago. And obviously what I played back in February, but that's uh, another story. <laughs> so... I have a relief to almost see this uh, this one done. I want to obviously get another um, get get Tomba really going after this. So I don't really want to rush it, but I want to rush it. <laughs> Aliens, you know. What? Oh, that was great. But of course, because we fell to our a lower path, that just means we have to find more paths to find. And oh, great, we fall again. But that means I'm just going to go back and find more paths. Isn't this level great? And I shouldn't have done that. And it, it makes no sense. So I just leave that box there and just... Yeah. Okay. And I didn't need that either. Just... Yeah. That was dumb. You're supposed to long jump across that, and you're supposed to grab all three, so that is what I was supposed to do that I did not do, but should have done in that particular instance in context. Yeah. Anyway, let me go down here and uh, die again. But that'll only lead us to another path. Yeah. Right here. Actually, that was the one we were jumping at. Never mind. But yeah, this, uh, this level. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's also a few... Well, I'll mention it when we get there, but... There are some pretty, there's a pretty brutal 90 degree turn that left me on a quest to find this, what you're supposed to find out of it for like a good 15 minutes or so that I was able to thankfully cut down to like a minute. Oh. 90 degree turns. Don't put them in. Or turns that aren't exactly 90 degrees but are blocked because of a object in the way. Oh yeah, that's that's great. That's a, there are rules to platform 3D platformers. Never put 90 degree turns or obscure views for no reason. Otherwise, you have got a bad a bad idea, and that's not good. Ooh, lots of orbs right there. That's that's interesting. That is interesting. I should comment on that, but. Yeah. It's like that new Mario game, you know? With all the coins that everybody's going to be playing because it says Mario on the box. I actually think Mario Brothers, or New Super Mario Brothers 2 looks like a good idea. I just, I feel like they thought of the idea as, okay, we're going to make another new Super Mario Brothers game because it sells well, and we're going to turn that into its own little franchise. And then one guy's like, look, I made an entire world where it's like collecting coins. It's like, I want to put coins in my level. And the other guy's like, I want to put coins in my level too. And then Miyamoto's like, let's put coins in all of the levels. And yeah, the whole basis of the game was getting coins because Nintendo likes money. And well, not all the time. Sometimes they just don't want to take my money, which is... Weird. <coughs> there are three. And, um... Yeah, it's, uh... Crazy company. What are we doing again? Just looking around blindly for... Yeah, this is fun. Getting lost is fun. I wish they would... This is an instance where you need a crazy taxi arrow. I like how it feels kind of too... like more linear, but it's not. 
but it's like they reduce your freedom a little bit in this particular section and it feels like an entirely different level but equally as annoying I don't know how to describe it but limiting where I can walk just changes the level just because it the whole level is based on fr this unnecessary an amount of freedom and getting lost and all of a sudden it's like they limit you you can't you don't want to fall off and but there's multiple you know it's all about going vertical Ugh. choose a side Oh, good job right there. You couldn't just walk around or anything or long jump. Had to wait for that platform. Oh, this is fun. I don't think I actually ran across that, though. What's the point? Oh, yeah, that. Oof. At least we're close, I think. This couldn't go any slower. But then again... If it went faster, I would have been complaining about that too. I would say I would have said in a different world where they actually made it like faster. I would have said this is they could have made this slower, but like actually meant it. Or oh my god, parallel universes! I I had a teacher who talked a lot about dimensions in parallel universes. <laughs> he left some for some interest interesting uh, conversations about dimension theories and that there's ten dimensions and like we can't we can only you know we're in the third dimension and blah blah oh my god it was an interesting conversation but looking back at it it was uh it was not the greatest to talk about all the time well it's not the greatest to think about because it's just a huge yeah where are we supposed to go This level just adds more and more vertical climbing as you progress up, up, and up. It's like it's loading it or something. No, it's probably not. But, wow. I think we're close to the top. And then there's more things to do. Oh, my God. And the worst thing is if you die, or generally if, well, if you die, you've got to repeat it from the beginning. I don't really like this part. I think a lot of people don't like this part. Oh, we're back here. Because we were already here, and oh my god, I fell, that's right. Oh, I'm remembering all this stuff. <laughs> oh my god. The direction for this level is all over. If there is a direction, that that's also up to the player. Don't you just love those... Why am I waiting for this again? I shouldn't have done that. I should have just walked all over there. There's... Oh. Or I could have done that. Because this is kind of what's left in this level, isn't it? Isn't it? I hope so, because I, I, I should have watched this before I started commentating. Oh, well. Oh, we got more stuff. Of course. Why not? And, of course, it was the path that... <sighs> I should just love this level. Now we've got to get up there, but we can't jump up there to the left or to the right, so... Unless I did, I doubt that. Wow. That's, uh... I think I'm just trying to figure out where you start to get there from, but... I think if you just jumped down right now and jumped up to that platform using a high jump, you could make it. But I take the smarter way and walk around. And that is from that other section with all the poles that we did before. I don't think I went over that. No, I didn't check that. Okay, good. I think I remembered it at that point in time. This is trying to... It's me trying to remember what I remembered. Inception? Remception. Oh my god. Nice! It's like 2D here. Why not? Even more limiting, actually. Just double checking the surroundings. I always know your surroundings, even though the camera does a good job of that. That I did not think of giving a chance. 
don't know what's with me not hitting X immediately or anything. Look at all those precursor orbs. Oh, thank God we're done. That is it for this area. Now we've got another section to go through. Oh, God. Alright, so this is a... This is right underneath that yellow platform you forgot about. That was... Well, not a platform, but it was in the ground. It was like a yellow circle. Yeah. Run! Or do you have to just do it? I don't remember this. Oh, and by the way, if you don't activate the yellow, uh, the yellow fence, um, that won't be activated. So you can't beat this level unless you beat the, uh, the winter level. Snowy mountain. This is the last part. So if you do this out of order, well, you're kind of screwed. So. At least they kill a... Stay in your hole. Okay, at least they reset the spiders. Oh, uh, okay. That didn't work. Somehow. Glitch. Actually, it's probably because I was tilting the joystick. And yeah, let's just speed out of here. It's, uh... There's nothing to see here. Just get going backwards. It's... Not a whole new concept. We, got to get, we have that to worry about. But we'll come back for that. Don't worry. In fact, we could be getting it right now. I say could be because I think when I was editing, I saw myself just getting a yellow eco and uh, running back and getting it. Which I think, yeah, we're, we're going for it right now. Before, before after we get this scout, scout fly, I totally remember that. And I think I died, so I just cut it back here. Yeah, that makes sense. You die and you get reset back to the beginning of the area because that's your checkpoint. Which isn't that bad because, well, you don't want to go back to the nest area with the spiders. Uh, yeah, that'd be a bad area. But anyway, we got more platforming in a platformer that has too many options of where to go. And I don't particularly know a good route of which to go through. But, it's called Improvision for a reason. Yeah. Okay, maybe we don't go f Okay, we do go for it. This is the path to... Or at least the path I found that... That somehow means I have to run into poles multiple times in order to get these. Yeah. Yeah, I told you we'd be getting that soon. I didn't say when. I just said could be. We didn't, but we still got it in a re reasonable amount of time, I'd say. I wasn't lying. Just, uh, I wasn't right, okay? Sometimes we just make mistakes, and in a particular instance, I made a mistake of when we were gonna get that, and I forgot! Yeah. Anyway, uh, I think we're gonna start shooting out all these, uh, Insects that I don't know the name of because they're probably not based on. I'm gonna call them caterpillars. They're not friendly caterpillars, indeed, or hungry. It's actually, they might be hungry. I don't know. These don't look like the uh, the ones that would turn into beautiful, beautiful butterfly type of caterpillars, but uh, they look pretty evil. Give them that. They give you really annoying shots to go through, like this one, which I don't know why I'm still shooting it because it already went flying and running away. Yeah. So, if these are trees, right? I'm looking at a tree right now. All these, uh, whatever these things are hiding in, whatever these things are, that's a tree, right? Or is it a rock? It looks like wood at the bottom. So, what? happens when that breaks, because that looks like it's going to break any, any couple of uh, months by now. The way they're gnawing at it, most likely. Or chopping it down, but, uh... I mean, Jack 2 is about going to the future, right? So, did these things fall at some point? And I'm, I'm expecting this is about the area where, towards the end of the game of Jack 2, you're going through a, going through a huge factory, 
which has a lot of I don't think it was lava, but I think it was acid. Green acid. I think this is this would be the area. Yeah. A little bit of spoilers for Jack 2, but it is the future of Jack 2. It's a little known thing. It's actually kind of obvious that you go to the future. But yeah, I'm not going to spoil anything past that. Anyway, we've got uh, shootouts. Now, in retrospect, when you are given an infinite supply of ammo in one spot, you should stand in it. Why I didn't think of that immediately, I don't know. But then I thought of it, and then I positioned myself in a terrible area, and all of a sudden I am hammering the square button, and there will be eventually a giant amount of yellow on the screen, and I'm too lazy to walk around, like walk a little bit forward so I don't see the yellow. And then it eventually just clouds the entire view, and yeah, it's yellow everywhere. While shooting yellow. Hoping that, yeah. Oh, and this is great. I actually got a huge long shot from here, all the way over there to kill that thing. Yeah, pretty beast. Now, what you should be watching for is either a green eco or precursor orbs. That usually tells you that you shot all the... All the lurkers in these, um, so, probably the best way of telling when you're done with the tree rock thing. Seriously, I want to know what, what happens here in the, if there's any fiction behind this, I, I'd like to know that, like, what happens in Jack 2 to this area? Does it become the factory? Because it looks, it, it looks like it would, like the volcano would become the factory at some point. Who knows? Who knows? I don't think they would really think that far ahead into the game. Yeah. But it's just... If this is supposed to be, like, earlier civilization days, why are there random floating platforms? Yeah, I just called it out. I called it out. I'm the only one to notice that. Why are there random floating platforms in an age that is going to predate Hours, I guess. Random floating platforms using magic. Okay. Or, uh, eco, which is a part of the earth, or what you call it. Looking ahead, I'm just gonna skip a whole bunch of this or fast forward through it because it's, uh, not that interesting to watch. It's Lots of just random shooting and some platforming that I've already, well, that leads to very little progress. So, yeah, just quickly shoot these guys out because you've been watching enough of this and just get the power set. I think it's mainly my aim that's not helping. I think if you just, if, rather than spam the square button, just like only shoot when you're supposed to or have a target, I think that might be better. But really, it's such a short section that it doesn't really give you any hints on what you're supposed to do. And of course, any logical human being would mash the square button if given infinite ammo. I mean, come on, who wouldn't do that? Don't have to reload infinite ammo. Just smash square. That's that's clearly what anybody would do. So you can't blame me there. If you do, I don't. I don't feel like you're either way. So you're wrong. You're wrong if you blame me. Okay. So we're gonna la launch ourselves over there. Don't die. Okay. Good. Um. But yeah, if you can't pin me on that, that's I could. Possibly just see what happens if you just uh, aim around, but there's nothing to kill now, so. <laughs> I'm, not, I was, I'm also not playing this right now, so. It'd be hard to do that. That'd be like. Yeah. That's not what I want. Timeception at that point. Let's not platform over there and just shoot it from here. It's those dark eco crystals that are probably the worst, the 
worst. I died. Uh, the worst part of this uh, entire game. I'm gonna say this. This is the worst mission in the game because of one placement. It's it's just so ridiculously bad, and we're getting close to it. But it's gonna be the last thing we find in this area because it is the worst thing. Oh my god. I think there are four or five of these dark eco crystals. Crystals, of course, that are purple, but are called dark. And there's dark gems, which look just like it. But that's, again, Sparrow Hero Tail. Hero's Tail's fault, so. Yeah. Anyway. Let's get over here and into. What I think was pretty much stolen from Banjo, uh, Banjo Tooie, and yes, those are crystals with gems in them. That is totally from Crash Two. Um. So yeah, let's just let's just see what I did here. Which I don't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. Look really carefully if I could actually see the area that I missed. And some of you might remember this if you played it yourself. If not, just follow me, just follow me. I'm gonna be looking for something like right here, and I won't see it. I kinda see the path, but there's a path to the left there. Yeah. There's a path right behind me right now. Does the camera ever give you any hints? Does anything give you any hints aside from you're supposed to turn your camera left? No, not really. 90 degree turn. Little hint of... I mean, it's a dark area, so even if I were... To look, it's still dark. And you would think that there's only one they wouldn't be able to hide much in what looks like a very linear, narrow path. But we'll, uh, we're gonna just walk on this platform that doesn't look any different from what we've been, uh, standing on before and just fall. That's always great. So, uh, yeah. And again, I didn't see it on the way there. So, twice, I already didn't see a 90 degree turn to the left, the opposite direction of which I'm supposed to go. And, okay, that 90 degree turn is pretty easy to see because the camera turns for you. Yeah, it's just... You never put it... You'll never see a lot of 90 degree turns in 3D platformers. And there's an obvious reason for that. You're not able to see it. Things get covered up, things get cluttered in the way. Unless you actually have something that draws from the environment that looks like you're supposed to turn, you're not going to do it usually because you're just going to follow the main path or try to go straight forward because, as it turns out, games like Crash kind of told you to go forward in 3D platforms. Go figure. But then, that's, I'm going to stop my rant for a second and, uh, I think I just looked around here for no reason. Anyway, let's get back out here because we gotta get those crates over there. So, thankfully there is a yellow eco valve right here. Or, I think they're called valve. But anyway, that little thing that spouts out a bunch of yellow eco. Yeah, you want to get that. And because of this, you don't aim because the auto aim will correct you. But doing that works just fine. Of course, why not? Why, why break uh, the rules of first person? I don't know. But anyway, cut back over to where we were, or just die to get there faster. Whichever works either way, in my opinion. My professional opinion, might I add. Uh. Let's, let's see what we got out here. I think we just need to get that uh, power cell up there. And then we need to get the power cell for the dark crystals. And if you're trying to piece this together, the last dark crystal is in that 90 degree, uh, yeah, talking. 90 degree turn that I missed, so we'll be getting to it in a little while. I don't know why I didn't jump. I think that was the... I was afraid that purple thing was trailing me and would have hit me in midair. 
It's better than having to repeat the entire section, but yeah. Still got hit in the process, but not in midair. Anyway, so I was down right about this point. I looked at in my inventory, I had the dark eco crystal still. I'm like, okay. So I'm pretty sure I've got some powers or precursor orbs. Yeah, I got eight of those left. So I looked for the precursor orbs because I thought, hey, if I find the precursor orbs, and I did, so I'm gonna find the spiders. Um, I thought I would find the uh, the last dark crystal. So I look around for probably a good 20 minutes and I'm finding the, the precursor orbs and then I get worried because I'm finding too many like this one's fine because there's just one so no problem there but then it's like oh oh no I saw another one and then another one and then two more I'm like oh great that means I have to go through the entire level so I go back to the path where the giant uh robot is, you go through the spider cave, or nest, all of that, eventually like, I was just here, there's no way they would hide something, yeah, ho ho ho, 90 degree turn, obscure the view after the 90 degree turn, and make another path, that's, that breaks multiple rules, oh my god, and obscure the view using that, uh, crystal, or the light thing, yeah. At least they gave you a, tr a trophy for all that. But oh my god. Oh my god. So, we're still not done with this level. Take a yellow eco. Uh, take yellow eco with you when you leave the level. Get out of here as fast as you can. Jump out of here. Jump, 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 jump. And. There is a crate that you need this for. And there you go. 91st uh, power cell. Still have some more to collect, um, three more, and then we'll be heading to the final area. So, see you then.